protect the history of Dragon Ball. The past. The future. What the fuck else will we be doing considering it's a Xenoverse game? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this new world is so beautiful. Is this Xenoverse 2? Oh my gosh, yes, it's Xenoverse. That looks so awesome. <gasps> Your mission. I've never seen these characters before. I've never done any of this protect the history of Dragon Ball. The past. I've never done that mission before. Never. The future. Oh my gosh, it's future trunks. Outcomes you wish were different. Xenoverse 2. Oh my gosh, I, I, I gotta make every single video possible, Xenoverse 2 story mode, Xenoverse 2 characters, Xenoverse 2 everything, I have to cover it all. What's good people, Anime Analyst here, and I had to address something. I had to address this new Dragon Ball project that they're working on, also known as Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 that got announced earlier this week now this is a new segment called keep it 100 so you already know what's about to go down I'm gonna give you my 100% honest opinion of this announcement trailer and I don't really give a fuck what everybody else thinks about the trailer this is just my opinion what the fuck was that shit It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm really tired. I've had to shoot this video numerous times. What the fuck was that? Whoever made that announcement trailer needs to learn how to make captivating trailers for an upcoming big hitter type game. This is not some like mediocre selling DBZ game. This is Xenoverse. Xenoverse did numbers. And you coming at me with this weak ass Universe 2 trailer. I literally watched this trailer while I was eating dinner one day after work with my with my friend. We pulled the trailer up at the table and I was like, I watched it. I no emotion came over my face. No emotion. I was like literally they gave us a synopsis of what we did in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1, and then they just started sprinkling in movie characters on there to act like they was fancy like no i really don't see i don't see the hype behind this like i can't get hype when it's basically xenoverse one like they needed to show me something to get me hype if you ever seen like other announcement trailers like like you see announcement trailers at E3 for games like you saw years ago. And the announcement trailers were so fucking lit and just so fucking getting your heart pumping that you remember them shits for years while the game was in development. Like you remember that Final Fantasy 15 trailer? That shit got niggas hype as fuck and niggas were waiting for Final Fantasy 15. I think it was announcement trailer, but yeah. Like very underwhelming what i think should have happened is they're co they covered too many like they basically said what did they say they go through the trailer talking about your mission protect the history of dragon ball the past the future what the fuck else will we be doing considering it's a Xenoverse game? We know what the whole fucking deal is. We know that we're stopping these little time errors and that we're going back and correcting them. We know that's what's happening. You literally just have to throw us back into that action point and say some more shit happened. You don't have to re-explain. Like, 
that's per what what was xenoverse one for if you had to reintroduce all the I ideas from xenoverse one like what was what was the purpose that tr announcement trailer should have had dragon ball super content or dragon original dragon ball content for the past we've already done all them shits like i really don't give a fuck about the movie characters we've literally played a whole bunch of this shit in the tenkaichi games don't care bro like fuck lord slug fuck turlish fuck all of them bro don't care about them like we've been experiencing this shit like it's such so much old shit in these trailers that it's just like how do you get hype my ideal trailer what they should have done if they're gonna do the trailer like that and make it that underwhelming they would have to throw a big like shocker type oh shit at the end like i know some of the naruto trailers do that like i remember one time it was like a storm 2 trailer or something and then at the end of the trailer they had fucking uh ninjikyo shabari god sasuke used his ultimate jutsu with the amaterasu at the end like we didn't expect that see what they could have done here you see how the events are messed up you go ahead throw some dragon ball super action at the end to get people actually hype 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 for the game what would i do I would throw some fucking Vegeta versus Kaba action at the end. Have Vegeta at the end giving Kaba that finishing last blow to the gut when he told Kaba, don't ever forget this pain and finish Kaba off. And then at that moment, the end of the trailer after the Xenoverse 2 logo, you can have uh, Kaba get back up with the red eyes and the purple aura. It's not over yet. See, that would have had niggas screaming hype as fuck. Kaba just got back up. Kaba just got back up. Oh shit! Oh, no, they just want to throw some future trunks, the history of future trunks in there. I don't even know why people are so excited for that shit. Like, it really was. It's just the history of future trunks. Like, the shit wasn't even that. Like, I was unbothered by this trailer overall, and considering how awesome of a series Xenoverse is, I feel like they did it a disservice. But, I mean, that's just me being 8 more than 92, 100. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Peace. Hold up. I might as well instant transmission out this bitch. I mean, come on. If I can remember how to do this shit. All right. I'm out. All I ever ask is 100. Yeah. 100. All I ever ask is 100.